Good morning. We are in June, and I'm sure lots of people are outgoing, but we want to make sure that we provide you some great tips and tricks so that you have a great grilling experience. Grilling is a dry cooking method, and it's also a lean way to cook beef, and so we're going to give you some little tricks here. And we've got our special guest back with us, Miss Carly. Welcome back. Thank you. And I know you like to cook a little bit with charcoal, so give us a tip about charcoal. I do. One thing that you want to remember is when you're heating your coals at the very beginning, just keep them in a tight pile, and that way they all get to about the same heat. And then whenever they turn that ashy color, you can go ahead and spread them out. And also remember that you don't want any flames uh, <laughs> when you are getting ready to put your meat on there. You also want to remember that the proper heat temperature would be about medium, which is if you can hold your hand just over the grate for about four seconds, that equals about medium heat. Yeah, and those are some great tips. And so when you're getting ready to flip that steak, the natural indicator is that the juices will rise to the top. But the big thing is don't use a fork uh, to flip because you're going to pierce it and lose all those wonderful juices. Rather, use a set of tongs or a spatula to flip your steak or your burger. But with the spatula, just remember, don't play with those patties. <laughs> I know natural instincts is to smash it, but we don't smash our patties. We leave them alone and let them do their wonderful things. Well, speaking of tongs, too, you want to make sure that you have two separate ones, so one for your raw meat and one for your cooked meat, or at least wash in between with hot soapy water if you're going to reuse um, one set. Also, in the same kind of sense, making sure you have two different plates. So one for your raw meat and one for your cooked meat. And a great way to do that is have two different colored plates so you know which one is was um, for raw meat and which one was for cooked meat. And then also, as we always say, look at the meat thermometer and check the, the temperature with the meat thermometer. And that color really is an indicator. But when you're using the meat thermometer, you want to make sure that your burgers are about 160 degrees and then your steaks are about 145 degrees at least. So make sure that you put it in horizontally and that way you can make sure that your, your meat is cooked properly. And so if you need some more great tips on how to grill your beef, check out beefitswestfordinner.com or kybeef.com. Happy grilling!